Imagine you're looking up. It's a beautiful day and the sky is a brilliant blue. You see birds, lots of them. They're circling, gliding, doing their bird thing. But what if one of those birds isn't a bird at all? What if it's a machine? A machine designed to look, move, and fly just like the real thing. That's where our story begins, with something that looks like it belongs in nature, but is actually a piece of incredibly advanced technology. This isn't science fiction, folks. This is real. We're talking about ornithopters, specifically bird-like drones. China has been making some serious breakthroughs in this area. These aren't your typical quadcopters buzzing like angry bees. These are far more subtle. They flap their wings. They soar. They blend in almost perfectly. Think about that for a second. A machine that mimics life so well you might never know it's there watching. So let's dive in and explore this silent death from the sky and see what makes these feathered fakes tick. All right, let's get our definition straight. What exactly an ornithopter? The word itself sounds pretty cool, right? It comes from Greek words, ornithos meaning bird and pteron meaning wing. So quite literally, it means bird wing. An ornithopter is an aircraft that flies by flapping its wings, just like a bird, just like a bat, just like an insect. It's not about propellers. It's not about jet engines. It's all about that rhythmic, powerful flapping motion. Leonardo da Vinci sketched ideas for these centuries ago. Now why copy birds? This is where biomimicry comes in. Biomimicry is a fancy word for a simple idea, learning from and mimicking strategies found in nature to solve human design challenges. And when it comes to flight, birds are the undisputed masters. They've had millions of years of evolution to perfect it. Think about it. They can take off vertically, hover, make sharp turns, fly slowly, fly quickly, and land on a tiny branch. They are incredibly efficient and agile. So how do you actually build something that flies like a bird? It's way harder than it sounds. Birds have muscles, feathers, and a brain that coordinates everything perfectly. Replicating that with motors, gears, and circuit boards is a massive engineering puzzle. First, you need materials that are incredibly lightweight but also super strong. You can't have a drone that's too heavy to get off the ground, or one that breaks apart mid-flap. We're talking advanced stuff here, like carbon fiber composites and specialized polymers. Every gram counts. Then there's the flapping mechanism itself. This is the heart of the ornithopter. It's not just a simple up and down motion. A bird's wing beat is a complex three-dimensional movement. The wings twist and change shape throughout the stroke. Engineers have to design intricate systems of cranks, gears, and linkages, all powered by tiny efficient motors to mimic this. Some designs even try to replicate the way feathers separate to allow air through on the upstroke, reducing drag. It's like building a tiny robotic bird skeleton and muscle system. And let's not forget the brains. These bird drones need sophisticated onboard computers and sensors. Let's peek under the hood, or rather under the feathers, of some of these avian drones. China has been notably active in this field. One well-known example is a program that developed drones resembling doves, codenamed Dove. These aren't just toys. They have flapping wings, can fly for around 30 minutes, and are equipped with cameras and GPS. Then there are others, like the Little Falcon Ornithopter, which showcases even more advanced capabilities. These names themselves tell you the goal, to be as bird-like as possible. So what powers these mechanical birds? Typically, it's high-density lithium polymer batteries, just like your smartphone or a regular drone, but optimized for the unique power demands of flapping flight. Efficiency is key. Every flap consumes energy, so the motors, gearboxes, and wing design must work together seamlessly to maximize flight time. The mechanics involve a motor driving a gearbox, which then converts the rotary motion into the complex flapping pattern of the wings. It's a precise dance of mechanical parts, all working to generate both lift and thrust. Section 5. The Unseen Threat, Stealth and Danger of Bird-Like Drones Okay, so we've established these bird drones are engineering marvels, but why are they considered so dangerous? The answer, in one word, is stealth. Their ability to blend into the natural environment is their superpower. Think about it, how often do you really pay close attention to a bird flying overhead? Probably not much. That's exactly what makes these drones so effective for covert operations. They can operate in plain sight without raising suspicion. It's the ultimate camouflage. This isn't just about looking like a bird, it's about behaving like one too. The flapping wings, the gliding patterns, even the way they might perch, it all adds to the illusion. This makes visual detection incredibly difficult. 
Unless you're specifically looking for anomalies and know what to look for, an ornithopter drone could easily pass as just another member of the local avian population. This is a huge advantage over traditional drones, which often have a very distinct mechanical look and sound. These bird drones are designed to fool your eyes. Section 6. Silent Wings, Deadly Intent, Military Applications So, with all this stealth and advanced engineering, what are the military uses for these bird-like drones? Well, the most obvious one is ISR intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Imagine sending a flock of these birds over enemy territory. They can gather high-resolution imagery, record video, and monitor activities without the enemy even knowing they're being watched. They can perch on a building or a tree and observe for extended periods. This kind of persistent covert surveillance is invaluable for military planners. Beyond just watching, these drones can play a crucial role in target acquisition. They could identify and track targets relaying precise location data back to command centers or even directly to weapon systems. Because they can get so close without detection the information they provide could be incredibly accurate. This reduces the risk to human soldiers or pilots who would otherwise have to perform these dangerous reconnaissance missions. The drone takes the risk, silently observing from above, looking just like any other bird. Now let's talk about something a bit more alarming, weaponization. While many current ornithopter drones are focused on surveillance, the technology could be adapted to carry small offensive payloads. We're not talking about large missiles, but perhaps small explosive charges, chemical agents, or electronic warfare jammers. Section 7. A global game of cat and mouse detection and countermeasures. If these bird-like drones are so stealthy, how on earth do you detect them? It's a massive challenge, and it's sparking a new kind of technological arms race. Traditional radar, as we've discussed, often struggles, so researchers are working on new sensor technologies. This includes more sensitive, higher-frequency radar systems that are better at picking up small, low-flying objects. They're also looking at electro-optical and infrared sensors, EOIR, that can detect the visual or heat signature of these drones, even if they look like birds. Another promising avenue is acoustic detection. While ornithopters are quieter than propeller drones, they aren't completely silent. Sophisticated microphone arrays combined with artificial intelligence could learn to distinguish the unique sound patterns of a mechanical wing beat from those of a real bird. AI is also being used to analyze video feeds from surveillance cameras, looking for flight patterns or subtle visual cues that betray a drone masquerading as a bird. It's like teaching a computer to be an expert bird watcher, but for fakes. Once you detect one of these feathered fiends, what do you do about it? Countermeasures are also evolving rapidly. Electronic warfare systems can try to jam the drone's control signals or GPS navigation, causing it to crash or return to its operator. High-power lasers could potentially damage or destroy the drone. Section 8. The Double-Edged Sword, Ethical Dilemmas and Future Anxieties This technology is undeniably cool. I mean, robots that fly like birds? That's amazing. But like so many powerful technologies, it's a double-edged sword. And this one has some particularly sharp ethical edges we need to think about. The biggest concern, especially in a military context, is the potential for autonomous operation. What if these bird drones are equipped with AI that allows them to make decisions like selecting and engaging a target without direct human control? That's a scary path leading towards lethal autonomous weapon systems or killer robots. Even if they're kept under human control, the surveillance capabilities raise huge privacy issues. Today it's military applications we're mostly discussing, but what happens when this technology becomes cheaper and more widespread? Imagine police forces, corporations, or even individuals using bird drones for surveillance. Where do you draw the line? The idea that any bird you see could be recording you is deeply unsettling. It could have a chilling effect on freedom of expression and personal autonomy. Our current laws about privacy are already struggling to keep up with technology. Section 9. Navigating the Future Innovation Responsibility and the Skies Above So, there you have it. China's bird-like drones are a stunning example of biomimetic engineering. They are pushing the boundaries of robotics, aerodynamics, and stealth technology. From the Dove to the Little Falcon, these machines are getting more sophisticated, more bird-like, and more capable every year. They represent a significant leap in drone technology, one that could revolutionize how surveillance and even warfare are conducted. It's a testament to human ingenuity, no doubt about it. We see a problem, 
or an opportunity, and we build amazing things. But as we've seen, this innovation comes with a hefty dose of responsibility. The very features that make these ornithopters so effective, their stealth, their resemblance to nature, also make them potentially dangerous and ethically problematic. The potential for misuse, for unchecked surveillance or for autonomous weapons is very real. This isn't just about cool tech, it's about how that tech impacts our world, our security and our freedoms. It's a classic science fiction trope come to life, the creation that could outsmart or harm its creator. What's the path forward? We can't uninvent this technology.